Hello, me hearties. A very, very good evening to you and dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see it's Scotty McClue and we're live on TikTok just for you. A nice evening pop up. Now, I was going to uh, wait till a little bit later, but I thought, no, I'll pop on and see who's about, you know, do my crocodile dundee. Good evening, says Luxury Cars. Luxury Cars, very interesting chat last night. Very good. I like that and we'll maybe discuss some cars at some point. How are you? I am absolutely dinky do. This is real quality. Did you get a notification popping up there right away? And uh, that's it. So you're, you're first on, you see, which is outstanding. We like that. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue. Thanks, Harry, for sharing that. Yay. Definitely, yes. I think some night we should set aside for car chat but you see we're about 50 50 male female uh, viewers on here which is absolutely fantastic hello again scotty ruby's very sad why is ruby sad there we are i got a jaguar xk 120 uh my dream car yes now well of course there was the 120 there was the one uh, 140 and was there not a 150 as well? Yes, if I remember right. What about that? So there we go. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, there's content reminder. What a shame. We'll have to say bye. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, there's always a wee troll that comes on doing what they do on all the other ones. There we are. Now then. Hi, brother. Good to see you again. Dinky do. Lovely to have everybody with us. I hope you and your family are well. And I hope you and your family are well. Thanks for following, guys. As soon as you come on, we've got a lot of following to make up. And, uh, you know, that would be terrific if everybody could follow as soon as they arrive. There we are. Now, that's our bad old content reminders. God sing biggie. Just away doing the sweaty, doing the stanko. <laughs> Do you like Morgans? I saw a lovely red one today. I love Morgans. Absolutely outstanding. I can remember in 1972 or 73, and I was in a, a Series 1. XJ6. And uh, I said to the driver, a Morgan came up behind us and I said, why don't you just show him a clean pair of heels? And he said, absolutely not. He said, that's probably the fastest production car we've got. And it was the Morgan with the V8. And of course, I love that V8 engine. Hope you're all well, Scotty. Had any malted milks to munch on? Simperoni, did you like that? Oh, hi, the new, says JP. JP, lovely to have you with us and dig you too. Scotty, I'm not happy. What's wrong, Charlie? You need to tell me. Uh, Tom's just followed us, dig you too. Welcome, everybody. If you've just joined us, tremendous. I saw Rolls Royce Phantom 6. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Now, it was the Phantom 6, probably around the 70s. Yes, maybe, would you get one in 1973? Or am I out with my chronology? Uh, Disco Pete, how very kind of you. Loved your video with the malted milks. Did you? I'm so glad because... People have been saying it's such a laugh, you know, and all I'm doing is having a biscuit, you know what I mean? What's your favourite car? I missed the start of it. Tom, we were talking about Morgan's. It was 1972. Ah, right, that would be it. Yes, I know it well. I can remember um, going to see a friend of mine had one. And I went to see him, and he was employing a gentleman who drove for weddings with the, you know, the, the tie and all the rest of it on. That thing. And this chap had on the grey lab coat, and he was standing up on a step, simonizing the roof. This thing looked gorgeous. So there we are, dinky-doo. Uh, do you think William and Harry have fallen out? Uh, well, I think William is a remarkable man. I just, I get a really good vibe about that guy. I think he's a very, very nice guy, genuine nice guy. Harry, I think, has definitely overplayed his hand, or his missus has. Let's put it that way. So there we are. Scotty McClure are my nouns, Scoosh. We don't do pronouns. Squeeze box. Charlie, I want to know what's making you unhappy. So why do tell us about 10 Rolls Royce Phantoms? We love them. I mean, the beautiful, beautiful things. It's like going into somebody's drawing room, you know. 
<laughs> and there's not a sound out of them. That's the thing. But I remember um, inquiring about it, and somebody said, if you want to drive one, Scotty, you'll need to go on a course. And I said, but it's not just like driving a big car. He went, oh, no, 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 no. He said, you need to go on a course. If you're going to navigate one of those round London, you've got to know your stuff. So there you go. So what do we think about that, RR? Do you think Scotland could make cars again? Skin Bob, the problem Scotland's had is Scotland is a place where it always over designs and gives you too much quality for the money. Now, I'll give you an example. Scotland's car manufacturing, okay, the Roots Group made one or two not very smart decisions, to be honest. But anyway, the factory came to Linwood, but it was it was actually too far away from their home base. That was Willie Roots' lot in the 1960s, and the factory came to Linwood in Scotland. But let's look at actual Scottish cars. The Argyle. Now, I saw a postcard which was 1911, and it said, what think ye of the Argyle car shares? Now, of course, you can just see the frontest piece of it. And when I was wee, it was the torpedo factory in Alexandria. But if you look up at the stonework, you can still see Argyle, I think it's 1908. Now, the Argyle motor car was over-designed and was full of quality. Do you see? And that was expensive. They also shelled out quite a lot to impress clients. Marble floors in the works, you see? Things like that. So I'm a great believer if you're starting a business, you need to start small. You know, I've only once been in a business and I couldn't get to run it the way I wanted to run it because we had a stewardship issue with somebody else. So there we are. Uh, the museum there now in Alexandria, absolutely. Well, when I was small, you passed. You went over the river leaving the bridge and everything. And when you went through Alexandria, there wasn't the motorway or the bypass. You went through Alexandria and there was Argyle Motors. Fantastic. The other one was Arrol Johnson from, uh, I think they started off in Dumfries and came up to Lanarkshire. So that kind of thing. So the Scots don't have a great track record for keeping their motor manufacturers. Yet Albion Motors as well and Leyland Motors at Bathgate. Thank you very much, Steve James Jones. Happy Boy says, do you want some tea? I've got tea here. Do you like being a part of the UK? No, not particularly. It's never been a good thing for Scotland, to be honest with you. How's your day been, dinky-doo? Happy boy. Thank you so much for sending me tea. What about Jackie Stewart? What a great guy. Yes, the garage at Dumbarton there. Someone in my village has bought an Aston Martin DB5. The noise it makes is beautiful. The DB4 is nice as well. I knew someday at the DB4. Happy boy, what are you doing giving McClue all that money? Don't choke on your tea this time. I will try not to. Thank you. I do apologize for last night. But as you know what happens, there's nothing you can do about it. Can everybody follow me, guys? We are seriously, seriously lacking in the following states. And that's just lazy. Thank you to the beautiful people that have followed me. Hello from Bradford. I used to broadcast to Bradford. Do you have any Adam's Ale? I have a full tank. The dinky do with that. Mm. Hello, Scotty. I hope you're well for me and Ellen again. I hope the weather's starting to get warm up there and that soon the gardens at Pomedon will be open. And uh, can you still get a high tea in the Royal Hotel? Um, what have we got here? Want to go to the pub for a Foster's? <laughs> I don't drink the alcohol. <laughs> Prince Philip's going in his Land Rover. He is skin bob. Quite right, too. Steve James Jams, you're very generous. I love your hat. Thank you, Vicky. Very much appreciated. Steve, thank you for sending the flowers. Hello from Peter Heat in Aberdeenshire. Aberdeenshire, lovely to hear you on from Peter Heat. And whose things at Peter Heat today? And for the Do you see Aubrey for the Broch? Scotty, did you have any Aberdeen Angus for dinner? Simperoni, I did, but not the burgers. I had the mince. 
And I also had uh, the wee twiddly pastas. Do you like Range Rovers? Well, I've had three, so, you know, that maybe tells its own story. Uh, you know, I'm on my fourth Land Rover product. Have you got a motorbike license? No, Steve James Jumps. But I was once taken on the back of a BSA Thunderbolt 650. Oh, this thing was gold with a chrome tank. <laughs> Peter Reid on the brocher chaffing a wall. I'm glad to hear that. Is that a good kind of falcon? You're a tonic man, Lewis. Thank you so much. Uh, so there we are. We don't worry about uh, support, heartless. We are all encompassing. We're very modern. We're way ahead of you here. The new Vogue's amazing. My brother just got one. I can remember the first one with the um, the uh, air suspension and a gentleman driving it. And he said, oh, the difference here. Can you explain how the phone worked at Scotch FM? Uh, did, did you know who was about to come on the phone? No, I just saw a flashing light, but the lovable lassie, who was an outstanding typist, used to put names up so I could look up and think, on line four, I've got James, and I would go to James. But no, I didn't know who was coming on. I didn't know what they were going to talk about. What did the policeman say to the belly button? You're under a vest. <laughs> so there are, what car do you drive now? Well, I have two cars, as I say, one at 29, one at 21. Uh, so that's the stuff. If you do any radio phone-ins, can people from England give you a call? Simperoni, people from all over the world could give me a call. If we can get this moving, and it's all up to you to follow me, like me, tap, tap, tap your screen, tell 10 to tell 10, share it with every single one of your followers. Do you watch Scotty McClure when he goes live? Here's his link, blah, blah, blah. Get on to the YouTube channel and uh, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, which you'll see the link for at the... Um, right there, right there in front of you, the little square one at the Instagram link, okay? Always have that handy, I say. Uh, and people, I might talk to the TikTok people and say, would you be willing to do a phone-in? And that would be huge, huge. There we are. Probably all the radio stations would have to shut down. Um, do you like a pristine bottle of tonic white? Lewis, I don't drink alcohol. So we don't have a pristine bottle of anything. We have the tea and the water. My cousin said she had brand new ones in the garage all the time. Uh, doesn't recommend them. Well, there we are. Uh, what a pronoun. We don't do pronouns. That's old-fashioned. We are modern on here. Are you a communist, Scotty? What is a communist? What would constitute a communist? There we are. Be quite interesting. Uh, what car do you drive, McClue? As I say, two cars. I don't drive them at the one time. How's the stats doing? Well, the followers are very poor, but the likes are going up a treat. So there we are. I hate trolls. Luxury, never hate anything. You're shutting off an avenue of learning. Trolls are just poor wee souls who are very confused. On TikTok, they're probably used to going on to um, junky stuff and just making a nuisance of themselves, they don't realize this is totally different and that there's just no place for them here. Evening from the best place in the universe, Greenock West. Are you at the West Station, Joe? Dinky too. Uh, do you know what a road man is? Yes, yes, of course. I see them all the time. They flip the sign. Stop. Go. You know, all that stuff. Fantastic. And uh, what does a lemon say when it answers the phone? Yellow. <laughs> Eric, we love it. Dig you do. Do you like sparkling water? I don't mind. Maybe as a treat, you know, to, if, I'm, if I'm being a bit flash. But no, I'm not too bothered. The tap water does me. Do you go grouse hunting? Well, it wouldn't be grouse hunting. It would be grouse shooting. No, I don't shoot. I am a crack shot. But I don't shoot. And I love the grouse. I love when they get up out their cover with the wee chicks and everything. So there we are. Now then, what have we got here? Do your political views align with communism? I don't have any political views, and I don't know anything about communism. Why do you ask? 
Now, who have we got here? Love you, Scotty, from the Cross family. Louise, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, love to the Cross family from Scotty McClure. Fantastic. Uh, I'm an ex-troll. What an idiot I was. Not at all, Eric. You're fine. But you are an example to these other people. They're wasting their lives. Have you been to Airdrie? Oh, Airdrie. No, at like the back of my hand. Airdrie Cross. Can you say hello to my hubby, Tam, please? He's sitting here now, and he loves you. Hello, Tam. Angela's man. Dinky to Tam from Scotty McClure. Fantastic. Scotty, hello from Ireland. Hello, lovely to have you, Aaron. Um, I think the next Jurassic World film should be called A Reptile. Does... Oh, no, Jakey, no, no, that doesn't sound very nice. No, no, no. No, I think Jurassic Park. So there we are. I uh, see Ruth Davidson just wants to stop another referendum but doesn't mention any of the policies. Well, Skin Bob, bless these people, and I, you know, it doesn't put me up and down. But the thing is, nobody has ever made a case for the union. Apart from Queen Anne in, uh, in 1707, and that's because she wanted to get her hands on Scotland's money. So there you are, but there's no... There's no case for the union. Now then, dinky do, Scotty, how tall are you in feet? Well, I say if I round it off six feet, six feet, round it off. Thank you, Scotty. We all love you. Your breath reeks of coffee. Well, that's interesting, Louis, because I haven't had coffee for 40 years. So doesn't coffee linger? How amazing is that? Now, have you ever been to Colt Ness? Yes. There we are. Now, what have we got? Have you ever took an ecto bro? No, nobody should ever take an ecto bro. Okay, very, very dangerous. There we are. Scott is not drinking coffee, he's drinking water. Have you ever been to Cran Hill? I know Cran Hill very, very well indeed. Very, very well indeed, the Cran Hill. Scotty, you're a legend. You'll be thinking I'm a wee scheme jumper now. Uh, Tonight, the new Land Rovers. Luxury, I'm not going to say anything. Just all I would say is I'm not seeing anything that would make me rush in. And remember, I've been with Land Rover now for almost 30 years. So there's nothing that I'm going, I've just got, got to have one. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. There we are, of course, but we do have... A new defender. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Uh, do you have any memorabilia from the days of Scott FM? What do I have from Scott FM? I think I might have some bits and pieces memorabilia. So there we are. But having said that, they are beautiful cars. Do you know what I mean? Uh, who do you think is going to win the fight? Tyson Fury or Anthony? I don't know. I, I don't like fighting. Uh, you're doing my hidden. Well, away you go then and watch something else. Bye. Go and get your head done in somewhere else. Have you been to Stonehaven? Of course. Everybody's been to Stonehaven. Lovely, lovely wee harbour there. Beautiful pebbles on the beach. There we are. Follow us, guys. You don't have a clue, lad. A clue about what, lad. There we are. Uh, what have we got here? You take gear on the weekend. Well, it depends where I'm going. I will select a gear if I'm going up a hill. Do you see what I mean? Very important. So I would select gear, whether it's the weekend or during the week. Speed one, speed two, three, four, up to five, you know. So that's it. I mean, everybody, unless the car is automatic, would be changing gear. You know, but the day of the week doesn't actually matter. There we are. Uh, do you like the Audi? I've had one for six months. Such a nice car. Guys, I'm not going to get into the ups and downs of specific makes, really. I like your accent. I thank you very much. Do you have an iPhone? No. There we are. Have you ever come across a wild? No. So there we are. Uh, big old Land Rover Defender. Lovely thing. They are lovely. The only problem I had, you could never get your elbow comfortable on the windy. <laughs> but they are very nice. 
Uh, Scotty, I'll tell you what, I've seen saw Land Rover with a Gardner diesel in it. <laughs> now that thing won't go over 30. You know, fantastic. Uh, Scotty is Scottish through and through. Absolutely, Angela. You are correct. Yo, it's Jeremy Clarkson. So there we are. Footy, we could never, ever, ever say anything like that to anybody. That would be shocking. You should know better. Right, there's Footy gone. Now, uh, who have we got? Scotty, did you earn your, how did you earn your black belt in karaoke? Well, I, I threw a few shapes, you know, did a bit of dabbing, and then came in right on time. Start spreading the news. Um, oh, wait a minute. I put my glasses on. <laughs> Fantastic. Turn your volume down, geese. You turn yours down, geese. Fantastic. Geese, that music's loud. Turn it down. Turn it down, geese. Are you missing Scotty McClue? Can you remember playing the moon game? Oh, Scott, the moon game. How good is the moon game? Fantastic. Bless you. Can you give a shout out to my friend Ray Pease? He's French. We bonsoir, Yokran. Excellent. I'm a toaster. Ah, I'm a roaster. You'll get roasted on here. Steve James Jams. Now, what's your favourite place in Scotland to visit? Well, luxury cars, all of it, really. I, I, I love the whole place. The towns, the industrial belt, the countryside, the seaside. Steve James Jams, you're being so generous with all these roses. Thank you so much. Do you prefer manual or automatic? Well, I've driven automatics for 25 years, both saloons, luxury saloons, and uh, the big Range Rovers, of course. But at the moment, I've gone back to a manual, and I love it. Absolutely gorgeous thing. Uh, looking forward to a game of golf at Ralston tomorrow, Scotty. Good on you, Chris. It will be very nice. Nice part of the world, nice people. Why are you so loud? Because, Lee Yale, we have to broadcast to the whole world. Why are you so, why are you so loud? Can you remember the moon game? I can remember the moon game. Of course I can. I'm a mini driver, Angela, lovely cars. No chance. Diesel wouldn't be me. Well, there we go. It depends what it's for. Follow us, please, everybody. We need a follow fest. Can you all follow? We are so low on followers. It's uh, almost embarrassing. But we're very, very high on viewers, which is very, very non-embarrassing. Scotty, what do you think of feminism? Chelsea, I am regarded, Scotty McClue, check this out, is regarded as the father of feminism. Yes, I, I raised awareness of women and their plight and their weaknesses and their strengths and their opportunities and their threats. I did a SWOT analysis and I am now known worldwide as the father of feminism. There we are, put in Scotty McClue. It should come up. Any word of you getting back on the tranny? Nothing yet, Chris. So there we are. Very, very strange. So there you go. Big, big feminist. You make my day so much better. Follow me, please, everybody. You appeared on my For You page. Cool. How did I do that, Umar? Moon Game was brilliant and such a laugh. We might play it on here some night just to give you a smirk. Where were the Scott of M studios located? What's happened to it in the modern day? Oh, it's something else now. They were down at Albert Key in Leith. Number one shed. So he went in the gate to Leith Docks and just down there, and it was right on the quayside. When I was argy barging with you guys, I used to be looking out the window and watching the boats. <laughs> Thank you for all these beautiful red roses. Steve James Jams. Hello, hello, happy man. Smile deepest. How lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. So there we are. Ben Adam, I could never, ever, ever, ever give a shout out to anybody like that. How do you think that would sound? Oh, 
That's the kind of thing a troll would do. There we are, Ben Adams away, guys. What's your, who's your favourite singer? Well, it depends what we're actually singing. You see what I mean? Now, I was down at Killeen, Killeen yesterday. Recommended Scotty Chris. I've been going to Killeen now for 60 years. Yes. Did you see the boat-shaped cradle? Did you go around the house? Dad, did you see the old cannon? I had my photo taken of the cannon. M. O'Neill, that's so kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Now, who have we got here? Uh, some very strange characters coming on here, guys. A couple of wee trolls haven't quite sussed that it's not the place for them. We'll be watching the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. Yes, I was just going to say, Adam, um, I got this for you. Do you see what I mean? And you can see... That's St. George's Chapel. That's where the Duke's funeral will be held. And these are the banners of the Knights of the Garter. There's two big orders of knighthood. And there's the Knights of the Garter, which I think might be, is it 30, 32? And there's the Knights of the Thistle. And uh, if you were ever writing to the Duke of Edinburgh, which I did have occasion to at one occasion, then you would have addressed him as um, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, KGKT, Knight of the Garter, Knight of the Thistle. Love you, dinky do guys. So nice to have you. Why did you stop drinking, Scotty? Purely gentlemen, because I was doing a lot of late night driving. And a new law came in in Scotland that you could just have tiny, tiny, tiny amount before you'd be over the limit. And I thought, it's just not worth it. So I gave it up completely. And then I can drive any time of the day or night. And if the police stop me and say, could you blow into the bag? And I say, are you breathalyzing me? They say, no, but chips are too hot. Uh, no, no, sorry, that's the old joke. If the police stop me say, could you blow into this? Then I have no worries about saying, of course I can. Why do you have a hat on? Because it's very cold. Hello from Cumbernauld. Dinky do. Dinky do every day. Maybe a Scottish thing. I don't think you're loud. Maybe our Scottish are loud. Well, we are, Angela. You know, I mean, I remember uh, having an English friend up, and there was two guys chatting in the street. She said, are they, are they fighting? I said, no, 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 they're, they're having a conversation. It would be, are we? No. All that stuff. Alexa, play Scotty McClue on YouTube. Uh, I've put a flag in the front gate at half-mast in respect. You are wonderful luxury cars. We thank you. So there, I can tell you, one night I was in London with my girlfriend and we were walking um, quite close to Buckingham Palace and she said to me, um, we just heard this doot doot beside us and she said to me, darling, look at the car and it was the Royal Phantom. It was the Royal Phantom and I got to see it myself. <laughs> no number. Happy birthday to me. There we are, guys. Thanks for the TikToks. Now, who have we got here? The happiest man I've ever seen. Brilliant live. Love it. Are you enjoying it, Daz? It's very good for you. A bit of Scotty McClure. But I do need followers, guys. Please. I beg of you. Let's get some photos. I should have about 90,000. And I think I've only got 9,000. So there we are. So we do need some serious following need prayers everybody needs prayers do you like formula one yes indeed all the wee so-and-so's coming on the trolls oh don't worry about that shalom shalom walked all the way around it spent a good six hours there uh, which where, where was this chris would you rather a tonics tea cake there we are uh, i would always rather a tonics tea cake yes absolutely can I make it so I can live with you? <laughs> Have you ever driven a car called Hamilton? No, Lewis. I haven't actually driven that. I must have a look out for it. There you go. Excellent stuff. Night, Scotty. Dinky do. Night, la, la, la. God loves us all so much and wants us to get to know him by reading the Bible. God bless. I think I have a copy of the Bible. And I'll just put it out. Yes. 
Keep your hand here, you see? There we go. The Holy Bible. What about that? <laughs> now then, I bet you not many people could do that. Drink driving, just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Celtic Rangers ask Thomas. Thomas, go and see both teams play and make your mind up who you fancy. All right. Now, you don't have to stick with it. You could... You know, you support the Celtic one week, the Rangers the next, Rangers one week, Celtic the next, but you need two scarves. My only advice is don't go up the Celtic end at Celtic Park with your Rangers scarf sticking out your pocket if you're wearing a Celtic scarf. Are you a Christian? Well, I'm a universalist, so there you are. So we'll certainly, that will envelop Christianity. I'm Irish. We're loud as well, of course. Of course we are now. Though I think it's because of the wind. You know, can you hear me from a mile away? Could hear you in Kilmarnock, Angela. Good evening, military girl. We salute you, mum. There we are. Good evening, sir. Long as we up, short as we down. Long as we up, short as we down. There we are. Many whiskies you had tonight? Absolutely none. Haven't had any for seven years. Whoo! There we are. Guys, can you all follow us, please? Thank you very much. I love your lives. They're so addictive. Angela, bless you. It's just nice to have you with us. There we are. And hopefully, if these lives do anything, and I'm not bigging them up with that, if they do anything, I would like to think they give people a smile when the news is so flaming depressing. There we are. South Air Angels, absolutely. Go and see them both play. There we go. Now then, Kalian, like I said, uh, what country would you like to visit the most? I think Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, Wales in the UK. Ireland, I could actually move and live in Ireland right now. And it is in the EU. I love France. I love Germany, Austria. Uh, I haven't been to Australia. I might go to Australia. I want to be energetic like you. You reach and every word is gold. Smile deepest. You say such lovely, lovely things. Your word is gold. And you can't change the word of God. Follow us, everybody. Thank you, please. Let's see if we've got any followers. Now, who's been on the YouTube channel? Right? Has anybody been on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel? Guys, I don't think everybody's following me. I think some people are lagging behind. Come on, get following. Do the do the decent thing. Scotty, mod me up. So there we are. I'll mute the trolls. No, James, don't worry. The trolls are just wee souls. You know what I mean? What a great book. The Bible's a very good book. Follow everybody following. Do you like cricket? I do like it, but I don't know anything about it. And I used to go along for the warm beer in the days when I took a refreshment and I would hire a deck chair and sit and watch it. Take it do, Scotty. How many dictionaries do you have behind the shelf? What's the oldest? Simperoni, they're not dictionaries. They're who's who's. There we are. Who's who's. Where I believe I've got a file uh, sitting in who's who, ready to publish when I do something big. <laughs> Mon the well. There we are. Do you think the SNP will lose seats in the upcoming election? Shouldn't think so, Chris. There's no reason why they should. So there we are. Good evening, Scotty. I looked at my phone all day for you to pop up. Steve James Jams. I did. I popped up three times today. In fact, wait a minute. I think I popped up three times. Certainly twice. This is the fourth. Do you like the streets? Uh, yes, we like the streets. So what have we got here? Scotty, what's happening, pal? Angie, how are you doing? Where have you been? Guys, can we have a follow first, please? This is what you're watching, if you've just joined us. Okay, and if you can get yourself onto my Instagram logo beside my profile, right in front of you. If you tap that, then there's a link to YouTube. And there are 1,300 videos just waiting for you to go and like them and subscribe and watch them and laugh and smile. It's absolutely huge. Guys, there's our beautiful Windsor. Let me see. There's our beautiful Windsor. And there's St. George's Chapel 
down at the bottom. It's very, very old and very beautiful. Absolutely old and beautiful, I can tell you. Can we have a fun fact, please? Yes, let me give you a fun fact. Um, Mary, Queen of Scots, invented golf before it was invented on Leith in the 1600s. She used to play an, an early form of golf. And she, obviously being the queen, she didn't carry her own golf clubs. She got young army soldiers to carry them, the army cadets. This is for fun, I thank you. She got the army cadets to carry her golf club. There was a lot of French spoken in Mary Queen of Scots household because she was obviously brought up in France. And uh, the young soldiers were called in French, les cadets, the cadets, les cadets. So they used to caddy for her at golf. How's that for a fun fact? See, I'm not just an athlete, you know. Uh, you've not got a clue what you're talking about, have I not? In what way, shape, or form, BR? Would you like to come on and correct me? I think we'd all enjoy that. <laughs> Love your cat, mate. Didn't you do? Follow us, please, guys. You're always welcome to Ireland, Scotty. Oh, I'm an ill. I know that. I get welcomed with open arms. And I saw a very anxious hotelier one day. I said, what's wrong with my dear? Can I help? She said, no, no, I've, I've, I've lost a, a fiddler. I've had a fiddler call off for tonight. And I said, oh, we'll give you a song. Did you ever see Dolly Parton in the pub in Ireland? I'm pretty sure it's Ireland. And she says to the guys, you start picking, I'll sing. And she sings Coat of Many Colours. Well, the guy's going, dum, 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 dum. fantastic. A credit to Dolly and a credit to the musicians in Ireland. Um, I hit a while back. So there we go. I hit a while back. I don't quite follow you, bra, 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 bra. Wondering if you may be on the wrong stream for you. Yes, there we are. Who do you think should own the Falkland Islands? Well, of course, there's a bit of a stooshy on at the moment. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. What are who's who's? Who's who's Simperoni are yearly, there were annual books um, published by Adam and Charles Black, the publishers, and they mention all the sort of incredible people. Uh, so there you are. So it's a, a very good... There's an early one, I think. What's that one? There's one from 1961. You see that? 1961. And in it, you've got all the people. So you wanted to, an annual autobiographical dictionary, which has incorporated men and women of the time. So when we went to the very start, it will tell you, Who's who in the royal family? Do you see? And there's the royal family for you. And these have helped McClure to become very, very knowledgeable about people. Celtic Rangers says Idol. Go and see the two teams play Idol and make up your mind. That's your best bit. There we are. Uh, now then, do you remember me, Rachel? Of course we remember you. How could we possibly not? Yes. Uh, you remind me of my gramps. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. It's lovely to be with you. What's going on, good sir? Everything. You're such a blessing, Sir Smell Demis. Who do you think should own the Falkland Islands? Well, we went to battle for them. If you go on to YouTube, you'll hear Scotty McClure talking to the people of the Falklands about um, St. Andrew on St. Andrew's Day. And it was a beautiful day in the South Atlantic, which can be pretty, pretty wild. You should do a radio show on your TikTok. Well, Chris, I was just thinking about that. What accent do you have? I'm from Aberdeen. Uh, I don't have an accent. This is just the way I speak. But I can of Aberdeen. I've, I've worked in Aberdeen. And I can speak a Doric, Ken. So there we are. What's the badge on your hat? Scotty McClue, bestie. 
There we are, that's it there. I'll show you one. I think I've got a spare one somewhere. I saw one earlier. There's one. It's just that one. Repeat it. It's on repeat. Scotty McClure says dinky do. Fantastic. Funny enough, I wrote a book. I'm donating all the profits to homeless. That's brilliant. Fantastic. Dinky do. Jaffa Cake, Cake or Biscuit. Well, have a look at a TikTok video from yesterday and tell me what biscuit I am eating. There we are. Now, a user, I could never, ever, ever give a shout out to anything like that. You're on the wrong stream, buddy. There you are. You pop off, get yourself settled down with the dafties. <laughs> That's the stuff. He's away. Now then, uh, pray for the Queen at this time. Absolutely everyone will be praying for Her Majesty at this time. I wish I had a Scotty McClue badge. I'd wear it to college. Eric, we will get you one at some point. Let's just build this. This is only four weeks old, Eric. Do you see what I mean? And that's why people who are trolling don't understand it. They go, hey, let's go on here and troll a bit. And then they think, what are we doing? What are we doing? That ain't funny. So there we go. No, absolutely not. So that's why they're away down the swanee. They're away down the swanee. Um, they've made who's who annual. Last year it was always been annual. So there we go. Um, yes, I did indeed. Bobby Sands with his deathbed this time in 1981. 40 years. God bless him, a true hero. So there we are. Now then, I can hire a Ford Transit. Excellent stuff. Now, who have we got here? Marcus. You need to seriously grow up, poor love. Yay! There we are. There's Marcus away down the Swanee for being silly guys. Thoughts on the Parkhead Forge? Well, I opened it 25 years ago. I love it. Lovely people. Superb market. There we go. Now, who have we got here? How are you, mate? Dinky do. Honestly, I came to troll, but this guy's cool. Everybody comes to trial at first break, but um, it's for you. This is for you. Do you see what I mean? Trolling's just no use on here. We don't bother with it. Yep, the guy's a legend. So there we are. Do you support the Satan? Now, the Satan is um, what you would wear for the priesthood. Is that right? There you are, a satan. There we are. Much love from Greece. Yasu, Greece. Kalimera, uh, Kalispera, Kalanachta. Yasu, Yasu. There we are. Lovely to have you. Dinky do a wee shout out to Jason, of course. Fantastic. Do you think more cars should have the gear stick next to the steering wheel to save room? Well, my first car. RR, was a 1952 Austin Somerset. And it had the column change. This was a gorgeous thing. My friend had a Century Conquest that was pre-select. That was a gorgeous thing. It had a, quite a substantial. It was the free wheel, of course, the Daimler free wheel. And he'd pre-select. Now, pre-select, as you know, but not everybody will, you moved the lever Nothing happened. You dabbed the pedal that would have been the clutch and it engaged the next gear. Fluid flywheel taking up the stress. <clears throat> you should call your show. So there we are. Well, I, I do, Scott. Do you never hear me say, there we are. Hi, Scotty. Can you remember me? I was giving you roses and TikToks. I can indeed. So there we are. Do you want... If you want to call a terrorist a hero, <coughs> I think what he's saying, James, is that people like that were martyred by their own people for making that sacrifice. They were making a point. Do you see what I mean? There's no point in argy-bargy back and forward. That's what's wrong in Ireland. 
What we need more of in Ireland is, hello, my lovely Presbyterian friend from your big Catholic chum. Hello, my lovely, lovely Catholic chum from your big Presbyterian friend. There needs to be a lot more of that, a lot of understanding, because they're both Christian. They're not different religions. They're Christians, and they should be getting on well. Scotty, make me a moderator. I'll rid you of the weirdos. There's no weirdos, really. These are just wee souls. Notification says, Calamara, Calamara. Thank you so much for being there for us. I'm no more alone, smile deepest. You're never alone when you've got the rest of the world beside you. No problem at all. Can you remember Margaret Thatcher's rule? Now, what was it? Um, take everything and never give. Was that it? I don't know. <laughs> Do you support the devil? <clears throat> I've, uh, I've only once met one bad man who I would have said was genuinely evil. And uh, he took money off me in a business deal. And that's the only bad person I've ever met. So, uh, you know, I would never support the devil. I mean, you've got to remember, good must always triumph over evil. And it pretty well does. I can tell you. So there we are. Yasu! Yasu, what's your thoughts on the NHS? I think they've done a wonderful, wonderful job. Wonderful job. Why do we have right-hand drive cars, but most countries have left-hand drive? Cars were a little bit odd, Eric. Do you know what I mean? We, we, we think that we know best. Rolls, although I have to say I'm left-handed, and it suits me to be changing gear with my left hand, you see. Rolls Royces have the automatic gear stick next to the wheel. I know, the little gear stick, I've seen it. But I'll tell you what I wasn't so chuffed with. I was sitting in uh, a Shadow 2, and the umbrella handbrake was right at my knee. Do you know what I mean about that? Hey, I can't find the Scott FM Studios used to be online. Right, go to Albert Key. Albert Key Leith Docks. That's the start, and then we'll pick it up from there. Scotty should do a live phone in and TikTok. And YouTube, I'm going to I'm going to speak to maybe TikTok once we start. Remember, I've only been here what a month, four weeks. We're just getting started. We haven't even got. Let's see how many followers we've got. Uh, yeah, we've only got nine thousand seven hundred fifty followers, so that's tiny. We need to get everybody following. Ewan's asking to be unbanned. He's a good man. He once ran a mouth of a No, tell Big Ewan, no problem. Scotty's finger got the wrong person last night. I'll unban him. I actually meant to have done it. Bro, you're really confusing. In what way? I couldn't be simpler. <laughs> so how would you be confused? Good evening. Well said. Are you a Catholic yourself, Scotty? Well, I'm, I'm Catholic in that I'm a universalist. Are you with me? And you see, as you know, Catholic means universal. Do you support the devil? Well, we've dealt with that, of course. Who would who support the devil? Do you like the smell of God? Uh, do you like the smell of cod? Sorry, of cod. Yes, God help you. Fisherman's Blues, the best song. Have you ever heard, um, have you ever heard Fisherman's Green, I think it's called, it's a folk song. Wrap me up in my oilskin and jumper. Yes, as a satanist, I find that funny. What do you find funny, George? There we are. Can you give me some good life advice? Yes. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Always be yourself. When you're thinking, could I do that? Thinking, I can and I will. And when you're in a situation like an interview, before you go in, say to yourself, this is the moment and I am the one. Okay? Do you like that? Why did you decide to stop drinking, Scotty? Well, I told you, Jen. So I could drive the car at any time of the day or night without thinking, oh, here, I've had a drink. I can't drive. I'm trying to calculate. Do Scotland have posh people? Uh, Scotland have quality people. 
So I don't really particularly care for the word posh. It came from imperialist days when people were going out to India and Africa by boat. And on the way out, it was much smoother to uh, sleep on the port side of the ship, away from the rough seas. And on the way back, it was much smoother to sleep on the starboard side of the ship. So you would say, we'll book port out, starboard home, P-O. S-H, posh. So you see, Scotland doesn't have many people booking port out starboard home, but they have people of great quality. There we are. Scotty, I'm left-handed as well. I'm on the lefties. Well, don't shout that, Angie. You'll have the Tories on you. There we go. Could you give me, oh yes, evening, the Duke of Dundee. Evening from Orkney. Where are you from? Are you from Papa Westray? Are you from Kirkwall? Do you know the St. Magnus? You are full of knowledge, small deepest. I would like to think that I could hold my own in a conversation. You know, that sort of idea. Uh, well, the studio is near Stevedore Place. That rings a bell, Simperoni, yes. People make fun of my very posh accent. That's because they wish they could speak like you, Luxury. Thoughts on paganism? Well, it's a wonderful setup. I mean, it, if you go back, Easter, the Christian festival of Easter, came from the pagan festival of Esther, the egg, the new life. So there are a lot of similarities, you see. We don't mind a pagan, because they are the originals. Uh, there you go. They're just jealous of you. Absolutely. Scotty, you're like granddad. <laughs> the, the granddad I never had. You're brilliant. Top of the morning to you. Cheesy Doritos thoughts. Lovely, lovely, lovely idea. Stop. You'll be making me hungry. Good afternoon, Scotty. How is your evening? My evening's wonderful, Watergate lad. Where are you when you're saying good afternoon? Are you five hours behind? Is the time with you 6.14? There we are. It's at six o'clock in the evening where you are. Have you taken some water? No, I must. <clears throat> there you go. Take a bit of tea. I mustn't talk. Is that a coughing fit? My epiglottis failed to flap shut because I was trying to drink and talk. Oh. That's bliss. Guys, has everybody followed me? Or are we still on very low follow figures? There we go. Let's see if we get the following up a wee bit. Come on now. There we go. And has anybody been detailed to go and like the TikTok videos? And has anybody gone on to the Instagram link beside my profile there, tapped it and gone on to YouTube? Uh, so I've taken some. I've taken some tea, smart deepest. Thank you. Did you pass your driving test first time? What do you think? What do you think? What's happening, bro? Are you right wing? Uh, do you mean do I sort of swing to the right when I'm driving? Do you mean that you should call that in this country? Are you off side wing? Yes. Do you mean do I tend to? I don't know what you mean by that. What do you think of the Mitsubishi? Well, we're not going into the ins and outs of actual cars. If we're going to Google Maps to Ocean Drive, no, you're a wee bit further out. I think Ocean Drive goes on to where the Britannia is, doesn't she? TikTok would be boring without you. Luxury cars will say the loveliest things. There we are. What do you think of the um, the Arnage? Are you an Arnage man? Or are you a silver spirit man? There we go. Spirits are interesting. Hello from India, Scott. Chini, how lovely to have you from India. There we are. I thought that people weren't uh, able to see us out there. That's tremendous. I have a box of left-handed screwdrivers if you want them. They don't work for me. I'm a righty. No happy squirrel. I've got a ratchet. 
You know, uh, if you'll pardon the expression. What would you prefer, Audi Quattro or Lancia? Ooh, well, these are very, very fast cars. Who's the handsome dog in the photo? That's Lord Reith, called after Lord Reith of the BBC. And he was the most beautiful, handsome guy. But he loved getting his photo taken. Whereas my last week with Lord Clyde just wandered off. I wish you were my grandfather. I've never seen my smile deepest. I was so lucky. Do you know, I was just telling somebody this morning on Facebook. Guys, I'm on Facebook as well, you know. And you can follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. You can go on to Reddit, Scotty underscore McClue. Uh, I don't use Twitch a lot, but I'm on it. You can go on to the YouTube channel, Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Enjoy yourself there. Scotty, how are you from Armagh, Pablo? Lovely to have you with us. You know, say, Scotty, you're putting in the hours on here, old boy. Well, yes, because uh, I've got lots and lots of things to say. I like your hat very much. I want one so bad. P.S. Hello from Wales. Ah, yaki da. Nos da. For Helmsdale originally, but live outside Kirkwall. Also studying Dundee at the moment. Loving this life. We love Helmsdale. I used to go up to Brora and to Goldsby, to the Goldsby. And I can remember one night, my friend had a game of golf at 2.30 in the morning in Goldsby to prove that it never got dark. What do you think of, uh, oh, right, that one? Well, we won't go into that, Simperoni. We can't discuss anything like that because that's uh, in situ. Who have we got here? Have you been to Annick Castle? Now, Annick, yes, I know exactly where it is. So I used to drive down the A1 a lot. Uh, and Annick Castle, I'm just trying to think of the aristocrats. Is it, um, don't tell me, don't tell me. So, um, who's the aristocrats that I've got that now? Annick Castle. Hey. Is it the Duke of Northumberland? Have I got that right? Tell us about your best friend. Describe them. Uh, stunningly beautiful. Female. Uh, identifies as a female. Um... 100% reliable. Uh, Duke of Northumberland, what about that? See, McClue's not just an athlete, you know. There we go. Uh, still looking lost for the old Scott FM online. Landmarks, yes. Uh, go along to a street coming off the main street towards the docks to your left. So ahead... Head as far as you can on Leith Docks towards Portobello End. All right, there you are. See how you get on there. Do you remember me? Of course I do, Adam. How's it, how could you forget you? Crunch your Snickers. Uh, one of each for me, Morgan. Definitely one of each. I shoot Coco. So there we are. Love that. Wonderful stuff. A crunchy. Just got to watch your fillings. And a Snickers. They used to be called Marathon, you see. And somebody once said to me, Scotty, could you do a half marathon? And I said, I could eat the whole bar. <laughs> Happy birthday. Have you ever watched Downton Abbey? Not enough of it. You see, there's so much I need to do. You know, the people that annoy me most are the people that go, I'm bored. You think, how could you be possibly bored? It would take a thousand years to watch everything on YouTube. So we better start with the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. So there we are. Official. You're totally on the wrong stream, La. You get yourself on to the Dafty stream. That's where you belong. There we go. He's away singing his song somewhere else. He'll be following somebody's live and go, I'll maybe try my line on him. <laughs> How much revenue do the royal family generate a year? Uh, Pre-COVID, it was around two billion, and that goes direct to the exchequer. The um, Her Majesty the Queen 
she gets her income virtually self-financing from uh, the Duchy of Lancaster. That's around 20 million, and that runs the royal household. Then the civil list costs us about the same as a packet of crisps. And uh, security, 168 million, 2 billion coming in. Tourism, 210 billion. Uh, of which that's national tourism, but a lot of that's down to the royal houses. There are about seven royal houses in Scotland. There we are in varying states of repair. Yow! Love it, you cat! There we are. Yes, he was a Northern Irishman who invented rubber tires. Are you talking about Dunlop? Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Uh, wonderful stuff. Now, how are we doing for time, guys? How long have I been up here? Must be almost an hour. My goodness me. We're still very short on follows, guys. Good everybody, can we have a follow fest for about a minute? When everybody gets their act together, goes up to the top left, taps the plus sign, follows Scotty McClure. See if we can get a follow fest. Because I don't want the stream to die off for lack of people following do you know what i mean so is anybody following any chance of any followers yes that would be wonderful thank you very much jb very very good of you so there we go danny he doesn't hate anything i never hate you should know that are we following guys can we get some more followers we got a wee handful there just a few more. Just go up and tap. That's all that's involved. That would be tremendous. And follow Scotty McClure. And I've uploaded a load of videos for you on YouTube here. Uh, what have we got here? Did you go to uni? If so, what did you study? That's me there. That's I have two degrees. That's the later one. And they're arts. They're both arts degrees. So there you are. Do you support LGBTQ miles ahead of all that on here, Evie? We are all encompassing. Miles ahead. That's a very old-fashioned thing to ask, actually. What did one Frenchman say to the other? I have no idea. I don't speak French. <laughs> I like that. He doesn't hate the Union, Danny. He's pro-economic sense. In any country, happy squirrel. Thank you for uh, explaining that to Danny. Danny, is, uh, he's black or white. He's got to be one side or the other. Danny doesn't understand that it's not just politics that will get us through. It's economics. Yeah, the politics are okay. Of course, the arts, absolutely. Uh, where are you from in Scotland? Rory, I'm from all of it. I am Mr. Scotland. Yo, Scotty, how's it going, legend? Dinky-doo, all hail, Scotty McClure, hail, hail, the master of the phone-in, <laughs> 460,000 calls a week, 250,000 people listening every half hour, hail, hail, fantastic. Uh, what did the farmer say after he'd lost his tractor? I don't know. What did the farmer say after he'd lost his tractor? He said, where's my tractor? Scotty McClure, the prince across the water. Would you like me as your president? So we have the queen, we have President McClure, and we have the first minister. <laughs> Fantastic. Have you ever listened to, says Lucy, I've listened to everyone, Lucy. How long do you think it'll take for the UK to recover economically from COVID? Well, Adam, don't be fooled. The bill's 363 billion, but 200 billion of that is Brexit. So it's not COVID that will cause economic annihilation, it's Brexit. But what you will find is that will be covered up by everybody going, well, that was the COVID, you see, the pandemic, wasn't it, the Brexit? No, no, no. <laughs> Why is six afraid of seven? It's not, <laughs> numbers aren't sentient and are therefore incapable of feeling fear. Because it was an octa seven, eight, nine. 
Have you ever been to Abercrombie in Tullibury? No, Lucy, I haven't actually. But uh, I do know Tullibury. Who's your false mod in this again? False mod. The false mod. Is that yourself, Danny? Are you the false mod? There we are. Have we been trusting you with moderation? Everything in moderation, Danny. You know what they say. Guys, can I have some followers, please? We're very, it's a bit, I, I, I hate to ask, but, you know, everybody should follow as soon as they come on. Can I get a Scotty McClue cap badge to put on my cap? That would be a very good place to put it. Maybe we should have a Scotty McClue car, and you have that right at the start. There it's there, just on the bonnet, where you'd normally have the flying lady or something. Scotty McClue, didn't you do? <laughs> the squirrel. There we go. Thoughts on Mussolini. Well, he was very highly strung, you know. Uh, opinions on Russia and the Ukraine. We bit dodgy there. We bit of argy bargy going on. Quite worrying, and a lot of a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, I already love this dude's energy. I thank you, dude Skarkong. Skarkong, the dude. Mate, you've been live all day. Take a break. I haven't been live all day. I pop up now and again. There's not very many landmarks, but are the studios near Constitution Place. Now you're talking Simperoni. I think you would turn down Constitution, please. Isn't that gorgeous? Danun pottery. Oh, I love it so much. There we are, fantastic. What country do you think the UK should learn from politically? Scotland. Scotland is outstanding. The Scots are very, very, very clever. Very highly educated, very thoughtful, very focused. And Westminster would learn a lot if they would stop the arrogance and listen to the Scots. I mean, look at all our Scots Prime Ministers, Lord Aberdeen, you know, Andrew Bonner Law, William Gladstone. Uh, who else have we had? Alec Douglas Hume. Harold Macmillan. You might not have thought he was a Scot, but Macmillan, the publishers, they were from Arran. His grandfather's from Arran. Daniel Macmillan. What country? So there we are. What's your views on LGBTI? Donna, nobody needs to have views. If you're involved, great. If you're not, great. Nobody has to justify themselves on here. These are old-fashioned questions. And I know you're used to putting them in, in uh, you know, people's lives and things, but they're old-fashioned questions. We are all in company. We are modern on here, absolutely bang up to date, the very latest thing. Can you imagine how quickly racism would disappear if nobody talked about colour? Can you imagine how quickly racism would disappear if you only had one race? Can you imagine how quickly people would lose interest and watch somebody's sexual proclivity was if we didn't mention it? Yeah. So, you know, instead of walking in and go, going, hi, guys, I might as well tell you, you know, and coming out with what you are. You know, I mean, it's it's not of interest to people. People, what's embarrassing people is people talking about it all the time. Just leave it. It's fine. Nobody's bothered. You know, if somebody's gay, they're only of interest to another gay person. You know, capiche? I'm going to put that badge on my rolls. That would shove the value up a bit, wouldn't it? <laughs> Have you ever been to Bridge of Allen? Well, I started the radio station for Central Scotland called Central FM. So I was up at Bridge of Allen a lot. I used to go to visit the university up at uh, Airthry Castle. So there we are. What have we got here? Nay rolls, mates. Have you know, do you like the butteries or the softies? I'll take on the Russians. Good luck with that. There we are. Did you know an Irish lady tried to assassinate Mussolini? Yes, I heard about that. Yes, they can get a bit annoyed, the Irish ladies. 50 million quid. <laughs> 50 million quid 
Danny Boy, what are you talking about? There we are. Simperoni, I love that. Chuck Norris walks into a bar. He gets treated with great respect. So he's such a talented actor. <laughs> we love it. OMG, is he for real? Oh, Danny. Are we for real? How can I send you gifts? Smile deepest, I don't know. I think you tap on a little gift icon there, but don't ask me because I've never sent any gifts. Guys, can we take this? We can take this, Danny. We've got this big style. Gordon Brown. Uh, moving on. Guys, this guy's a joke. He hates Britain. He shouldn't be allowed to diss the UK. Danny. The UK was dissed by every single Brexiteer that voted leave. That's dissed the UK to the point of economic annihilation and political fragmentation. It's nothing to do with me hating the UK. The UK is kaput, mein friend, because of Brexit. Capiche, capiche. There we are. You're always coming up in my feet, Scotty. Love coming on these every night. Daniel, bless you, I say. Simperoni, I like the twist at the end. You only have 26 views, all you deserve. Yeah, but Danny, what you don't understand, like for instance, last night, 30,000. One of the nights, 50,000. So don't be fooled by that. That's like 31 people coming in your house, going through to the kitchen. Another 31 come in, go through to the kitchen. Another 31 come in, go through to the kitchen. Somebody says, I've just seen 31 come into your house. You say, well, there's 93 in the uh, kitchen having a drink. Are you with me? Capish, capish. There we are. Good man, Danny. Thank you, Scotty. Somebody who speaks sense about the whole LGBT thing. Yeah, we don't need to be mentioning it. We don't need to be marching. We don't need to be bothering. Just go with the flow. And go with the flow. Absolutely. Uh, watch your go to karaoke tune. I think it would have to be, well, I don't know. Donald, where's your trousers? Do you have Instagram? Yes, Scotty McClue one. There we are. What do you mean to have Instagram? There's the logo beside my profile where you're looking right now. Absolutely. There we are. Get it, run you, Danny, says Dulos. What do you think of the pandemic? I think it's dreadful. So there we are. Um, USA have declared war on Russia. I don't think so. Danny Moore, there we are. They're not they're not liking your nonsense, Danny. They're not liking that at all. So there you are. Now, uh, who have I got here? Oh yes, indeed. Right, that's that. I'll leave I'll leave I'll leave the um the Scotty McClue polis on here to sort all that out. <laughs> Danny, stop causing a rammy. I know, Danny, you're causing a stushy. Many fake, fake accounts have you got in this life, says Danny. There we are. Well, is yours one? There we are. Where are the Scott FM studios? On shore near Tower Street. Uh, no, I don't. Constitution Street. Stick with that end, I think. Right, guys, I need some water. Ah, lovely, lovely. Cheers. That is lush. Lush. Right, how are we doing, guys, for followers and for likes? Have we got any? I did you uh, yesterday, I think it was, some new TikToks. Can we have some followers, please? This is boss. Can everybody follow me? Here, it's here. You tap. I'll type this up for you properly. But you tap the plus sign at the top left. Somebody was telling me. So lots of followers, please. How good is Scottish tap water, Adam? It's gorgeous. I was on last night. No one near the amount you said. Danny, are you talking nonsense or nonsense? There we are, absolutely huge. Go on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel, right? 
and go on to Scotty McClue's website, www.scottyivanmcclue.com. It's had way over 10 million visitors. Yeah, there we are. Uh, Lackey says, oh, Lackey's giving advice to Danny. Danny, man, just go elsewhere. You're such a wee saddle. There you are. You go elsewhere, Danny, if you're not enjoying yourself. Yes, the rest of us are. There's Donald. Who's your favorite comedians? Come on, I order. Uh, well, uh, does anyone remember Norman McLean from your neck of the woods, Donald? He was, he was, he was a comedian. He was a very brilliant man. Norman McLean. And a uh, Chick Murray, Lex McLean, Walter Carr, the modern guys, I think, um, Kevin Bridges, Billy Connolly, of course. There's stacks of stacks of other ones. I absolutely love them. Um, I do like my comedians. Mick Miller. I like Mick. Um, who else do we have? We've got because we've got stacks. We've got stacks. Um, oh, who else do I like of the of the? I think probably my most favourite. General comedian, when I say general, I mean not Scottish, is Peter Key. I think he is a very, very funny man. So there we are. <sighs> Don't type it up. The chicken scrawl gives you the wild urban look. <laughs> Happy squirrel, there may be a lot of sense. There's always sense in what you say. There we go. Do you like Don Rickles? Now, yes, I do. It's quite difficult for someone like that to operate, but Don Rickles was right up the top there. I love him entertaining Frank Sinatra, Ronald Reagan as president. You know, stuff like that. Just tremendous. Tremendous stuff. So there we go. Please say Brooke and Isabella. Celtic or Rangers, says KYM. Go and see the two of them play. Make up your mind which one you want to follow. And it's not cast in stone. You can change them about. So there we go. Now then, who have we got? Tommy Cooper. Absolutely now you're talking. Very, very funny man. Um, eat your hat, no salt. I don't think I would ever eat anything without salt. There we are, Frankie Boyle, thank you do. There we are, Scotty is 11.37. Shouldn't you be asleep? No, Ruby. I should probably, you should be asleep, Ruby. Get to your bed. There we are. Now, what's the audio in the background? The audio is me breathing. There we go, Peter K is hilarious. I love Don Rickles. Knock, knock. <laughs> My favorite is Kevin Bridges. Very funny man, very clever. There we are, but love Billy Conley, of course. Uh, 17, love Don Rickles and Sinatra. Are you 64? Well, it's very difficult to say because I'm a time traveler. Blessings. Right, I'm off. <coughs> I'm ready. We'll sing you the goodbye song. Okay, guys. Catherine Tate, yeah, she's excellent as well. And uh, the one from the Northeast. The one from the Northeast. Um... Oh, come on. That's terrible. I think uh, I think I'm getting I'm getting on a bit here. Squeeze box. Simple. Do you want something in the squeeze box? I'll give you a wee tune in the squeeze box. Uh, what have we got for the squeeze box? <laughs>
There you go. How's that, guys? Right. Fantastic stuff. Lovely harmonies. We like that. Thank you. Quality, quality chat tonight, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Follow all the videos and get on to the YouTube channel. My eyes are closing listening to this. Thank you, Abigail. Uh, thank you for following me as well. Right. The goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheerio. Dinky-doo, everybody. ta -ra -las. <laughs>